All right, so how do we start? Okay, what's the first step in a gesture? Okay, I'm looking at my figure. Okay, I'm checking the angle first. So what I'll do is I'll quickly put in this stick. Okay, second step, I'll put in a circle for the head. Next step, I check the angle for the shoulders. Then I check an angle for the hips. And then after that, what do I do? I single stick and double stick per se. So I see this going on and I see this going on. And then I see this going on and then I see literally this going on top of that. It's kind of overlapping itself. And then I see this leg coming down, this going back down that way. This leg is going to this side. This leg is going off that way. So right there, bam, I've now got my stick figure, right? So now from my stick figure, what do I do? I'm now going to start wrapping my form. So I'm thinking about what? I'm thinking about the shape. I'm thinking about the forms that we learned, okay? The cylinders, the squares, the rectangles, and I quickly put that in, okay? So now, and I'll do little triangles for the hands and the feet to just make, or circles, whatever the shape is that it appears, you put down that shape very quickly. Now that right there would be your gesture. Okay, and then from there, okay, so now I went ahead and I did my gesture, okay? That's the way you do it, okay? Now I'm gonna do it another time, okay? And what I'm gonna try to do, I'm trying to come in a little closer with the video so you can watch me a little bit better. I'm sorry that this is the way, yeah, the technology is, now I'm gonna move my figure, okay? I'm gonna change him in a different position, all right? So that that way I get something different, okay? I check the central angle, that's the first thing I do. Then I put add on the, the head. Then from there I check for the shoulders, I check for the hips. Then from there, what do I do? I go ahead and I do my single sticks and double sticks for the arms and legs. And then from there, what do I do? I'm done with my little stick figure. So then I'll add on little, let's say either circles or I'll add on rectangles, depending upon the shape that I see. In this case, I see more of a circular form because the shape of the object that I have, it's more uh, cylindrical and round, uh, this particular form that I have. So then I'll quickly look, now look for those shapes, those shapes that we talked about long ago. Okay, this is what I'll do to get my form, okay? So now that is called a gesture drawing, okay? Now, next step that I would, so you've got one, two gestures. Let's try it again, okay? Now let me change the position of my figure, okay? Um, now I've changed them completely. And now, first step, I check, check for that central angle. His head is going off to the side a bit. Then I look for the, the angle on the shoulders, the angle on the hips. Then what do I do? I do single stick and double stick for the arms and legs, okay? Then what do I do? I then quickly add on those circles, like I said, or rectangles or, you know, whatever shape it is that you see, uh, add those in. Like I said, I, I, I look more for the cylindrical forms. I look more for the round forms. That's me. And then right there, bam, what do I have? I have my gesture drawing. Okay, so now I've got three gestures on one page and I told you guys to have five. So you'll put another one here and another one here. Now, after you're done, what do you do, okay? because I want a finished drawing per se for this particular composition for your homework. So now you could take your pen if you want to, and you could literally come in with the shading and the blending that you learned and start kind of filling in and creating, you know, with your, your light to dark, light to dark using that particular medium. In this case, I'm using pen and I'm using my hatching and I'll go in, well now it's becoming cross hatching, okay? And I'll continue adding in my value, okay? That light to dark, that I told you, that is gonna be something that haunts you through this whole semester, is light to dark and light to dark. So now that would be you going into your composition now 
and building upon it, okay? And that's what I want you to do for your homework. After you're all done with the gestures, I want you to start filling them in. Now, now it's like you're in the studio and now you're working with, let's say, some kind of composition. Uh, you were at the park, you did your gestures, and now you come home and now you're gonna create your, your composition per se or your, or your painting. So now that I just did with pen, okay? So that's pretty much with pen what I'd like for you to do with your composition after you're done with your gestures. Just build up, go from light to dark, fill it in with light to dark and light to dark and light to dark. Creating a form, creating a value of that 3D effect and I'm using pen only. Now the next medium that I would not mind you using is pencil. Now with pencil, just like I trained you, light to dark and light to dark. So what you're gonna do, let me make sure I'm getting it on both cameras, because there was one particular recording, I didn't get nothing. Oh, it was frustrating. So now I'm coming in and I'm filling it in using value variation. There's that word again, variation, going from light to dark, light to dark, light to dark, building form, building value, building dimension, okay? That chiaroscuro that we talked about. Okay, and that's what you'll do to your five, I did three, but you're doing five, okay, for the sake of demonstration, and don't wanna bore you to death here, <laughs> okay? Hopefully this is not boring. Hopefully you're enjoying this. Um, my, my aim is for you to enjoy art and for you to um, gain a practice. Even if, it, it, even if art is not your thing, okay? Let's say everybody has their own forte and that's okay. It's normal. Um, everybody has something that they're really good at, okay? Now, um, what I just did is I did the pen I did the pencil. Now, I'll go ahead and here, use color pencil, right? So if you guys remember with the color pencil, the first step in the first stage, give me a second, I misplaced my color pencil. Give me a sec, I've got them. So, oh, here they are. Oh, okay, now with the color pencil, remember, I told you use one color first, okay? Come in with light to dark, light to dark, with your one color first, okay? First thing first, light to dark with one color. Then what do you do after that one color? You look at the color wheel and the color that's next to it, just like they say, according to science, according to the theory. They say to use the analogous color to create blending, that analogous colors will give you that value variation that you need. That's what they say. So put it to the test, check to see if it will. Um, here I've done my orange and I went from light to dark with my orange. Okay, light to dark with orange. Now the next stage, I'll go ahead, look at the color wheel. What's next to co the, the orange is the red, so in my Darker area, I'll go ahead and hit the red, okay? Darker area, I'll hit the red. And in my light area, what's next to orange on the other side is yellow. So then on the other side, where the light value is, I'll go ahead and I'll pop the yellow. And all I did, guys, was listen to science, the theory of what art, they say theory-wise, if you work with the theory, that it's a promise that you'll be able to create that dimensionality. So now let's check it out. I'm gonna add in my yellow. So now here we go, bam, it's popping. It's now creating this turn in the figure and this energy within it to like move the subject. It's creating that dimensionality that I wanted, okay? And I just used those three shades, okay? Those three shades of colors, that's it. Use those analogous colors, okay? Now, um, so for homework, what's gonna happen, you're gonna do five um, studies of the figure, okay?
Okay, then after that, you're gonna fill them in. And I say, have fun with the background. Do something in the background. Make it a line design in the background or just put maybe grass and sky if you want to, okay? Have fun with it, at least for the homework. And remember, homework is nine by 12. Classwork is 12 by 18. Okay, that's the difference. Okay, are there any questions as to what? 